Singapore Math has so many different versions. What did we choose and why are we sticking with it? Hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, math. Yes, I am that person. I do like math. <laughs> I have a fifth grader and she is starting to enjoy and appreciate my love for math, but she's not quite there yet. But anyway, on my um, channel, we talk about all things homeschool and I'm really glad that you are here. So I did a video <laughs> about a year ago on why we switched from a Becca to Singapore math. I'll link that video up here. Um, but we did, we switched to Singapore math. We switched at the beginning of her fourth grade year. She had used a Becca from preschool up to um, the, the end of third grade. And so we, we switched and we are sticking with it. We really enjoy Singapore math. Now, Singapore math has so many different options. And today I want to talk just very briefly about the different options, why we chose what we did, and then why we're sticking with it. So first of all, for all of the Singapore options that I'm talking about today, they are separated into an A and a B for the year. So for example, you would have 5A for the first half of the year and then 5B for the second half. And that is really across the board with these three options that I'm going to talk about. So when we were switching, it was before the primary 2022 had been released. So I had narrowed it down to either the primary mathematics. And so this is um, the US edition. So there's Common Core edition, US edition. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of them, but there, um, this is the US edition. And that is really what I was looking at for primary mathematics. And I was looking at it and at dimensions. Now, obviously, <laughs> When you look at them initially, you can tell there is a difference. So for example, well, first of all, I'm looking at four versus five um, because we did stick with dimensions. So spoiler, we're with dimensions. But you can see that dimensions textbook is um, a larger textbook. Primary is all blue and black, whereas dimensions is a full color um, curriculum. So we decided at that point in time, I was really trying to decide between primary mathematics and dimensions. Now, the primary mathematics does have a home instructor's guide. Dimensions does not. Dimensions has a teacher's guide. And so this is a different, um, different materials. So for the teacher's guide, you can see that it does have the, um, the pages from the textbook. There are teaching information and teaching notes. And then it also has the workbook answers. Um, and so that is in the teacher's guide. There is not a home instructor's guide for the dimensions. But now this was th probably... Uh, what's no this was definitely the biggest selling point for me as to why we went with dimensions even though it does not have a home instructor's guide and has a teacher's manual it is because it goes up to eighth grade the primary goes to fifth grade now we were we were switching to Singapore at the beginning of fourth grade. So I did not want to switch and do fourth grade and fifth grade, assuming that it worked, which <laughs> I was really hopeful that it would, and then have to switch again after fifth grade. And so that was really one of my largest deciding factors in switching to um, dimensions. Now, then all of a sudden <laughs> they come out with the primary 2022. So you have primary 22, which is beautiful. Look, you have your full color in it and it has a lot of um, area for working and it is just beautiful. 
a primary toy toy. And it has a home instructor's guide. <laughs> so, um, so I had thought long and hard after, because we had a somewhat of a difficult transition to dimensions in fourth grade, but I wanted to stick with Singapore. I wanted to stick with that Singapore method for fifth grade. And so I was really, do I want to stick with dimensions or do I want to switch to primary with this 2022 um, curriculum? Well, I did decide to st stick with dimensions again because the primary curriculum only goes through fifth grade and I didn't want to then, okay, so we would have switched from Abeka to dimensions, then switch to primary, and then have to switch again. And so I didn't want to do that. Therefore, we have stuck with dimensions, and we will continue to stick with dimensions. Dimensions 5A, we have just finished it. It is, it worked so well. Even after our um, rocky road, I'll say, with Dimensions Ford. We stuck with it. Dimensions 5 has been absolutely amazing. And so I'm glad that we stuck with Dimensions for 5. Now, if I was backing up, and let's say that my child <laughs> was in um, a lower elementary grade, and um, let's say that I wouldn't have started this video with, I love math! <laughs> with that having been said, um, I probably would have gone with primary mathematics. This is a really solid curriculum. All of the Singapore is a really solid curriculum. Um, but I probably would have started with primary mathematics if my child was younger, if they went um, longer than fifth grade. You know, with all of those ifs, I probably would have done it. So that is really our main reason that we stuck with dimensions and we stayed with dimensions and we didn't switch to primary 2022. Um, but if you do have any questions, two things. Number one is I have a number of different um, Singapore math videos that I will uh, include the playlist here so you can see some flip throughs and comparisons you can see about our experience with it and that is included there and number two if you have any questions whatsoever please leave those in the comments down below and i will definitely answer them to the best of my ability i'm so thankful that you are here. If you are not subscribed yet, please do so. I'm having so much fun getting to know you via YouTube. So I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.